yeah, I actually hadn't thought about that at all. So I guess that's kind of cool, isn't it? That, um, you know, a few years later, we're, we're here again, perhaps on a slightly different stage, but <clears throat> pretty special in a lot of respects to, um, you know, be able to lead your country out in a, in a semi-final on, on the biggest stage. But I know both sides, without a doubt, are, are looking forward to getting into the challenge. And um, yeah, it's a, it's a really exciting opportunity. Got you out that day as well. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. Well, tell me how. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't actually seen the video. Uh, yeah, but no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It used to be a, an all-rounder, I think, back in the day, but hasn't bowled as much recently. Um, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, uh, you know, a formidable player. Um, growing up, I don't. Know, it seems odd to say because we were the same age. Um, you know, playing uh, against each other and on a number of occasions, and then to to go into uh, international cricket, you know, at a, a sort of a youngest, youngish age, and then IPL and, and all these different sorts of things. So it's been, you know, it's it's obviously been a, a pleasure watching Virat play and, and evolve into the, you know, the superstar that he is. I don't know, fired fired up's the the right term. It's um, we're, we're in the the top four now, and I think if we're reflecting back on on the round robin, we. We, we definitely deserve to be here, um, and that's reflective in the in the standings. Um, we had a couple of tough losses coming into this part of the the tournament, but we do need to look at those for what they were, and there are a lot of factors there that uh, were stiff challenges, not just the opposition, but conditions as well. And and trying to adapt to those as best you can is the most is the most important thing. So. Uh, whether we're, we're underdogs or not, it, it kind of doesn't really matter. It's, it is about how we turn up tomorrow and, and look to commit to the plans that we want to implement uh, and try and go out and play with that freedom because I mentioned earlier that, that every side has beaten one another on a number of occasions. Um, you know, it is a semi-final, there's perhaps a, a few more external parts uh, to this match that are a little bit different from, from others, but I think the team that goes out and has that approach sticks to their plans as best they can, then then does give themselves the best chance to win the cricket match. Um, yeah, you know, there's a, there's a lot of parts uh, to that, and as a bowling unit, you know, first and foremost, it's assessing conditions. Um, you know, Rohit's been clearly the, the standout batter in, in this tournament so far and, and been batting beautifully. Um, but as we know, we come into a, a semi-final. Um, it's another day where both sides will be trying to adjust to the conditions as quickly as possible and, and both teams will be looking for, for early wickets regardless of um, what their name may be. Um, but um, without a doubt he's been uh, superb throughout the tournament. No, I, I think there's also been a number of other contributions that have been really important in order, us, uh, in order for us to, to get to where we are right now, whether that's a, a lower score um, in terms of an individual, um, it's still been very significant for us chasing totals down, which we've done well um, in the earlier stages of this competition. And you know, from my perspective, it's going out trying to play my role as best I can to, to help move the team forward. Um, and, and that doesn't change going into tomorrow. And you're always wanting to, to contribute more. Um, you never sort of put a number on it, but uh, that's, I suppose, why we all practice as hard as we can to try and make those contributions uh, bigger and better. It can, conditions are a big part of uh, that question and um, on the ones that we have been successful in that respect we've been able to exploit those conditions and I think you, you come up against any opposition where the ball is moving um, whether it's off the surface or in the air then you do have the opportunity to take early wickets and I think everybody goes into the game with the desire to do that. Um, we will have to wait and see what the, the surface holds for us but you know, as a, as a bowling unit the guys will be certainly trying their best to to try and take early wickets uh, on whatever surface that we're dealt with because we know that it is very important. Obviously, India have a, a very good batting lineup, um, so you do need to try and dismiss them in, in order to, to keep either a, a, a total low um, to chase or whether that's batting first and defending. Um, yeah, our uh, attacks perform really well on a, on a real variety of surfaces where um, taking pace off has been really important, um, certainly on the, the round robin stages on, on the surfaces that we were on, so they've adapted superbly um, and we'll need to do that again coming into this next match and, and uh, assess conditions as, as quickly as possible. And um, The Indian bowling attack is a, an outstanding bowling attack, um, you know, with certainly a lot of world class operators in there. Um, 
you know, as a side, they're very well balanced with a, a lot of high quality players. But um, yeah, it's it's one of those uh, I, I guess occasions where uh, every team's worked so hard to to end up in the in the last four, where to a certain extent it, it all starts again, where the day comes and, and anything can happen, and all sides have have beaten one another on a number of occasions throughout the last few years. So um, it's a really exciting opportunity for all teams.